What's up guys, it's Little Crazy Boy here, and, and today we will be finishing the Halloween Marathon with the final film in the Halloween Marathon. In case you didn't know, I have been reviewing every single Halloween film once a month since January, and it has all been leading up to the new film this October. Today we will be looking at Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, and find out if it was worth it after Zombie saying that he didn't want to make one, so here it is. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. The film starts off after the end of the last film, Laurie's being taken to the hospital because of her injuries, and we actually get a pretty good sequence here with Michael chasing Laurie through the hospital and outside and stuff like that. Um, and we see Michael stab a nurse about 10 or so times. I mean, I don't know, you just watch for yourself. <laughs> After that, we find out that the whole opening sequence was just Lori's dream. Um, yeah, okay. So we also see two uh, people in a truck loading Michael's body, and as they talk about raping in Linda's corpse, they crash into a cow, and thus Michael's a Michael has escaped, and he sees this. What is even happening? I mean, okay, Michael sees this a ghost of his mom and this white horse throughout uh, the majority of the film, and it kind of like acts as, like, it kind of leads him throughout the film. It's incredibly confusing. So the film takes place a year or two years, if you're watching the director's cut after the last film, and we see that Lori is a complete wreck. And I gotta be honest, she is a complete, she's just completely obnoxious throughout the entire film. Now don't get me wrong, I understand why she's like this, but it still doesn't explain why she's a complete bitch to Annie. I mean, the brackets took her in when she had nowhere to go, and she's just, she's just so mean to Annie, and, and just it makes her completely unlikable. Also, if you hated Dr. Loomis in the f last film, prepare to hate him even more because he's a media whore now. All he cares about is just selling his book and he just gets famous off of the whole Michael Myers thing. And it's just, it's so not Dr. Loomis. I'm Linda's father literally tries to kill him in the film. So it's not like he's not hated in the film either. Now throughout the majority of the film, Michael is seen without his mask. And you even get like, you know, clear shots of his face. And this upset many Halloween fans, of course. Um, but to be honest, I don't think it's that bad. Now, hear me out. Again, this is a different take on Michael Myers. Rob Zombie isn't trying to do what the original films did. This is a new take, and you know what? I'm fine with it. I mean, it's pretty realistic. I mean, he's digging out trash cans, he eats a dog in the film. So, I just... I, it's fine in my opinion. Now, the climax of the film is Sheriff Brackett has to come home and see Annie's lifeless body on the ground after being killed by Michael. Sheriff, you don't want to go in there. I, let me handle this. Where is she? You don't want to go in there, Sheriff. No. Oh, God. Oh, no, Annie. Hey, God, no, God. Oh, God! No! No! And you know what? This is honestly the best scene in the entire film. Uh, Sheriff Brackett's just... His reaction is perfect. I mean, he just... He breaks down, and it's... Honestly, the best scene in the film. Um, it's sad, and it's it's done really well. The final showdown, Michael is 
you know, with Lori in an old shack, and the police are surrounding it, and, you know, apparently Loomis comes in there, and she's being held down by young Michael's ghost. I'm not making this up. So Michael then grabs Loomis, takes off his mask, and actually speaks. Michael, for God in hell, die! Okay, maybe I would have been fine with him speaking if he said something different, but after 15 years, the first thing that you say is die? That is really dumb. So after Michael is then gunned down by police and Lori ends up in a mental institution um, and she sees her mom's ghost with the white horse walking down the hall and it's like it ends, it, that's how the movie ends and it's incredibly confusing. I mean, I don't know, I, I think it's supposed to set up Lori as the killer but it, I don't know, I think just think it's a pretty dumb ending. So that was Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, and if I could describe this film with one word, it would be confusing, because this film is just, oh my god, it, it's just a giant mess. Seriously, at some points in this film, I was literally asking myself, what the hell am I watching right now? What is going on? And it's just, it's extremely confusing. A lot of the characters are unlikable as well, especially Laurie and Loomis. Um, the only likable character I'd say is Sheriff Brackett. I mean, he's the best character in the film. Now, there is some good things it has going for it, and it's, honestly, I think it's better than Halloween 5 and 6 and Resurrection. But still, this film is just a giant mess. I would honestly just recommend just skipping it. Watch the first Rob Zombie Halloween, but there really is just... This is not good as a sequel. Um, it's pretty terrible. I'm going to give Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 a 5 out of 10. So those were my thoughts on Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, and we are finally done the Halloween marathon. Um, technically, we still have one more film to go because of the new film, but I don't really like to count that as part of the marathon just because that's what we've been leading up to. So I am pretty excited for the film, but, you know, it's not like it's one of my most anticipated films of this year. I mean, I still say the original Halloween is self-contained and should have no sequels, but, you know, whatever. Hopefully the film does surprise me, and, you know, hopefully it's the best out of the entire franchise, other than the original. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this entire Halloween marathon. It's been one of the hardest things to write and edit and, and stuff like that, so... It's, yeah, it's been pretty long, um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, for those of you who are wondering what my quick thoughts are on the second trailer they released, well, I think it's not that great. I mean, in my opinion, it just didn't do anything for me, it didn't show me anything new, and it just, I don't know, I just, I didn't like the trailer, it just wasn't great to me. So that's about it, um, stay tuned for my Halloween review, and I will see you guys in the next video.